Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. YouTube. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. I am sitting outside. I am at my appointment. I'm a cancer specialist um, of North Florida. This is a beautiful place. It's a, a nice place. It's a, uh, you would think most people that come here it's strictly for chemo and infusions and and blood work but i i love to sit on this bench here and um i love to look at the landscaping which is very beautiful i'm not sure who designed this but it's a it's a couple of things that's in place that are uh, that help you get your mind off of why you're really here so you have the, the beautiful flowers and the bushes are really nice and the sidewalk is an area where you can sit and uh, get out of the, um, really out of the sun. And then it's, and then I'm, I was out here one time and the ducks came out and it's just a beautiful little area. And um, they thought about everything aesthetically for you to see when you're coming here at some of the worst times of your life so but i met a wonderful guy today who uh, is now cancer free and he was telling his testimony and had me in tears here at cancer specialist okay uh not gonna say anybody name because privacy is, is very big with me but i just wanted to always share with you my experiences and so what I wanted to share and talk about today is my, my thing is every day we go about our day, we wake up, we do whatever we got to do. And do we really stop and think about the people who suffering um, way more than you are, who in worse shape than you are and got other things that's going on much more severe than what you got going on. And I remember the first couple of times I came here I, it's, a, it's nothing is quick here. And when I say that, I don't mean that in a bad way. What I, what I mean is you come in and then you might have, like say appointment at a certain time and you have to be there at a certain time, but it's a lot of waiting. It's a lot of uh, variables that go into place. Nothing is set. I mean, somebody could be here for a procedure and get sick like I did before. 
and so nothing is strictly on time. So you got to have patience. You have to learn patience in order to be seen here, to work here, those type of things. So I remember complaining the whole time. My ride was late. I took the JTA. It was late. I mean, it took forever to get to my appointment. The, the lift on the back of the van kept getting stuck, shaking me up, making me nauseous. And I looked up and I was like, I got five minutes for my appointment. I was late for my appointment. Then I had to wait for the doctor and I just was all frowned up. And when I finished, I just was like, oh, I was talking about the smells. I just was complaining. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I sat right where I'm sitting now, which is out here on the bench. And I was waiting for my ride. And I wasn't angry or anything. I just started looking around and I saw service dogs and I saw people who could barely walk. And I saw people who was praying and I saw family members who were sad leaving out of the facility coming here by the bench and crying and people who could barely walk and somebody reached to help them and they say no I got it but thanks anyway because they want to do it themselves and so they 10 15 20 times worse off in pain and suffering than I was but they wasn't complaining about nothing they had a smile on their face and they was joyful. And I said to myself, Lord, please forgive me. Forgive me for frowning up today. Forgive me for not having any patience. And forgive me for just fixing my mouth to complain because that's all I did that day. So the lesson I learned that day is to have compassion and empathy for people, to uh, just be conscious of what's going on around you and to wake up with thankfulness and gratefulness and be happy you woke up. Half these people can't walk, some can't speak. Others are just in exhilarating um, happiness because they made it. Some are sad and uh, it's just so, you go through every emotion when you go to cancer specialist. You know, you go through every single emotion. And I go every week now. So it's just all I, I want to remind you of today is that everybody going through something. I, I mean, I used to hear that all the time and I didn't quite know what it mean. I definitely know what it mean now. People are going through a lot of stuff. So when you woke up this morning, you woke up. So that's reason to be happy. That's reason to praise and say thank you and so i say thank you you know i get this blood work done i get all this stuff done that's got to be done and it's painful and sometimes i have to do a lot of different things i have to do iron infusions i have to do injections i have to do oh my god sometimes i have to get magnesium potassium and sometimes I have to do blood transfusion. So we thank you, Father God, we thank you. So basically uh, you should be grateful and thankful for everything that's going on in your life. And just remember that if you got a chance, you know, help your neighbor or whatever, that's the stuff that's regular. But when you come to a place like this, always be conscious that the people that are surrounding you are different stages or they fight with cancer. They are different stages of their fight with whatever deficiency is bringing them here to cancer specialists. So I ask you to please be kind and considerate. Okay, so God bless you all. And that's enough chatty chatty for right now. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to get ready to get my ride home. It should be here in like five minutes. So thank you for joining me. And I'm heading home. Okay, at this time, we're going to breathe in and breathe out and get our day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father, for another day. We are so internally grateful, Father God. We woke up this morning 
thank you for that, Father God. We know that there are some people hungry. We know that there are some people who didn't wake up this morning. So we thank you, Father. We give you all praises. Okay? So wherever you're headed today, wherever you got to go, to work, to school, maybe you have a doctor's appointment, it doesn't matter. Be happy. Be joyful. Put a smile on your face and treat people with respect. It's the only way to live, okay? So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.